This video is sponsored by Brilliant. This device can make you a way faster 3D modeler, but is it really worth $400? Let's get into it. This is called the Space Mouse, and there have actually been three different versions of this mouse made. In the center is this control cap. Let's look at how we can manipulate 3D models on the computer using the control cap. For this example, we're going to use the 3D modeling software Onshape. We can pan the model left and right, up and down, and also rotate the knob to turn it. And we can also tilt forward to roll it forward and tilt back to roll it back. What's inside here? How do they use the sensors to be able to rotate objects the way they do? I took apart my beloved compact to show you what's inside and maybe to shed some light on how the control cap actually works. I unscrewed the control cap from the base. There's a board here with a connector. This connector plugs into this receptacle right here. So moment of truth, we're gonna disconnect this plastic piece. Here we have the rest of the sensor. One more screw to take out. What I've learned is that there are these LEDs in sets of two that sit underneath these two slits two in each one, and they shine onto this board, and that board has three different sensors. And then between them are these springs, and the springs are what actually allow you to move the cap around. The way that those LEDs hit the sensors are the way that the control cap knows how to rotate and spin and move the model around. Here's the Space Mouse I've been using for nearly a decade. It has two programmable buttons and the control cap on top. Here's the next step up, the Space Mouse Pro. The Pro model has many more buttons than the Compact. It has these quick view buttons on this side. Let's click on R to show you the right plane. You can click on F to show you the front plane. You can even lock it so that it can only rotate the view. It also extends your keyboard. These larger buttons can be programmed in many ways. Very useful if you're hitting the same commands over and over. And that brings us to the ultimate version, the Enterprise. The biggest advantage to the Enterprise version are these 12 programmable buttons. It has automatically come up with the commands for the particular program that I have open on my desktop. I have Onshape open, so it has 12 different commands pre-programmed. We can also program our own commands for these buttons. This little window is the 3D Connection app. We can change the speed of the control knob, but we can also program these buttons. I'm going to click on buttons, and we're going to see that we can program all 12 of those buttons along with any and all of the other buttons on the Enterprise. If I click on slot one, I can choose from a list of many different things. We can, for instance, open up an application using this button. I could also just use it as an extension for my keyboard, or I could set a macro of some sort. I can also use it just as a mouse. I can make it my primary mouse function you can have many different profiles for many different softwares. You're probably wondering, should I actually buy one of these top level space mice? Is it really worth $400? Here's what I'll say to that. Most users will benefit from the compact version I showed. It has two programmable buttons. The control cap is the most important part of this device. And once you learn how to use the control cap, you'll see that you'll save a lot of time. When it comes to some of the other features here, namely the programmable buttons and the display that will tell you what those programmable buttons will do, those features save you a little bit more time on top, but there are diminishing returns. So I would say for most users, the compact is just fine and the pro level version for people that wanna have those programmable buttons. When it comes to the enterprise, I only really suggest this for users that are using more than one CAD software. If you're using two or three or four different software packages, this is probably going to be worth it. You're probably doing many hours of modeling a week. This device is basically designed to eliminate a lot of the keyboard functions that we find ourselves using. The pro level version does have that swath on the side with the buttons for the keyboard, 
but this one has many more. As you can see, there's a tab button, there's the enter button, and there's even a space bar included. On the other side, you'll notice that we have some similar commands to before, but we also have three more buttons. Now we can program these views to rotate the model in whichever way we want. Speaking of views, I'm a visual learner, and so I'm always looking for new ways to learn new concepts in science and engineering in a visual way. If you're not familiar with Brilliant, I think it's a great way to learn, namely DC Electronics. They have some really cool courses that are visual, showing how lights work with batteries, with resistors, and how resistance plays into these circuits. Circuits. Spending just a few minutes a day during my lunch break learning these new concepts adds up very quickly over the weeks. I've always found that explaining AI to people can be very complicated, but I was very impressed with the way that Brilliant shows these very advanced concepts using visualizations in a very smart way. You can try Brilliant completely for free for 30 days using my signup link. You'll also get 20% off an annual subscription if you feel you really like it. Now back to the video. To the modelers that want to go the extra mile, I recommend this, the CAD Mouse Pro Wireless. Let's see how this can complement the Space Mouse Enterprise. Let's say that we don't feel we have enough programmable buttons on the Enterprise we can click this little button here and that's going to bring up an options menu. And we can also program this options menu to have whatever commands we want. That's really a way to have even more customizability built in. If I rotate that middle scroll wheel, it has a nice amount of weight to it. I can scroll in and out using it, and I can also zoom in and out with these two buttons that we have on the side. I can click it and have it zoom out. It's really just gonna follow wherever my mouse is. So if I put my mouse right here, it's gonna zoom in right on that spot. All in all, this is a premium product and a very nice computer mouse, but it leaves something to be desired. I'm looking forward to the day where they put a little miniature space mouse control cap right here on this computer mouse. That way you could use the space mouse and this mouse all with one hand. Now that would be really cool. What I hope to do next is to find a way to connect this 3D space mouse to this MyCobot 280. The Mycobot 280 is a small robotic arm, and I think the 3D Space Mouse would be the perfect device to control it with. 